Well, if we want these basic gears, I think we should set up a trap for the iron golems, right? Are you thinking like cartoon style? We put like a hot apple pie steaming with flavor on the window. Yeah, ledge. it's like got like um, the steam, like really <laughs> yeah. dramatic steam. You can see it's got so much, so much steam. So much steam. Apple pie. And then those, those iron golems like, ho, 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 ho. industrial clouds of steam just pumping, bellowing out of this apple <laughs> they pie. They go and eat it. And it <laughs> turns out the reason it's steaming is because it's just made out of like loads of like really spicy chilies and they oh, just die. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the die of spice. Die of heat. <laughs> right <laughs> they oh. melt into their iron components that's what oh, i want gosh. um okay what do you know nick oh actually i think i can find out uh here i do notice in the previous quest line nick there is a quest for us to make in mount perish that is that's the one uh there is a quest for us to get 64 diamonds and then after that nick, there's a quest to make some uh, ultimate traps maybe i should carry some traps on me for when i need it to plan a more strategic assault um, it says enemies will drop all loot and experience. That's what diamond spikes do. They drop even more loot and experience. So we could potentially put some, you know, gold spikes or diamond spikes even uh, underneath the uh, the steaming hot chili pie. Yeah, exactly. So they go in and when they try to eat it, they get spiked. Yeah. Just on the off chance that the chilies don't kill them. <laughs> yeah, can, there's also a massive iron spikes. spike. But in the, in the <laughs> unlikely event that the chilies won't kill them. Yeah, extremely unlikely event. So is the plan to, like, are we, just, are we just making, so we're essentially making a really hot chili pie and then, like, putting one of those car air fresheners that smells like cherry in the, in the pie to make it seem like cherry pie? Oh, God, yeah. It's just shaped like a tree, right? Like a green tree. <laughs> you know, like the world standard of car air freshener. <laughs> so stupid. No, no matter what the flavor, it's a green tree. It's a green tree, yeah. Here's a lemon air freshener. It's a green Every tree. time I go to the car wash, right, they always <laughs> offer it to me at the end. They they look really surprised when I say I don't want it. I'm like, come on. I mean, <laughs> well, who who wants it? <laughs> who's saying? Who's saying? I'm like, no, it's a free like, tree. What? <laughs> <laughs> so shocked. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want my car to like, smell, man. It's like actively just poisoning me while I'm sitting in the car. It's so like strong. Let us know in the comment section if you uh, if you're taking the uh, the tree ships or if you're uh, yeah too good for trees like Nick exactly um, too good for trees. Oh, I'm I'm down here helping you with the diamond mining, um, Isaac. I've got nether quartz seeds because I need nether quartz to make nether quartz dust for that. Those those mm. make certus nether quartz. So they make applied energetic nether quartz, not normal nether quartz. Oh. I don't think you can use those uh, as you're intending to. Oh, that's annoying. Poopy. Yeah. Can you not make nether quartz with the uh, the, the old uh, chemistry? No chemistry. Uh, you can. We need bar barium, Isaac. Right. And to get barium, you need, I'm pretty sure, things that we we probably, I think, don't have. Another quartz and the chemical combiner is 16 silicon dioxide, which is fine. We've got loads of that. And eight barium. So barium, you can get it from Han Purple. Is that, oh, that's just magenta, magenta dye. Okay, so we can get them from flowers. Oh, we can... Alright, we can get them from bone meal. Rose red and lapis, Isaac, makes magenta dye. And then we can use magenta dye... Uh, with... <laughs> you alright I've lost Nick? it. Um... <laughs> I, I, lost the, I lost the train of thought. Right, so you need barium. Where are you mm -hmm. finding out your barium from? Your barium is coming from... Han Purple. Han Purple. Han Purple comes from uh, magenta dye. Right? Yes, so that's why I'm making magenta dye. There we go. Right. Guys. Right, so I just need essentially lapis, uh, red dye, and bone meal. Wait, where, how are you getting magenta dye? Um, By oh, combining yes. purple yes. dye and pink dye, uh, or by... There's a, a recipe that uses Blue, like lapis red, and white. And yeah, yes. exactly. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's the route. That's the route. I'm going back home, Isaac. I'm doing that. I'm doing okay, that. You've, you've had enough with this. Okay, this I've, I've got already. 17 diamonds, Isaac, and, you know, I don't even care. <laughs> right? Ooh, I found a, found a secret uh, a secret chest here, Nick. Oh, what's in it? Uh, 64 redstone, 6 gold, a block of redstone, some gold nuggets, and a rare chest. Oh, nice. What's in the yeah. rare chest? Oh, I'll, uh, I'll take a, I'll take a, I'll give it a, give it a crack, Nick. Let's have a look. I got uh, a, a jukebox, Nick, is what I got. Oh, um, <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> Uh, you know, I also have a. You, ooh, I do have a. I think I've gathered it. I've got a chisel. Oh, 
Now that is saucy because we can't make that, can we? We can only get it as a reward. It's called Drolkus's chisel. Oh. But yeah, no, we can't use that as a reward. But it does mean, Nick, that if we really wanted to, you know, if we really wanted to, we could go back to the first world, mine those iron bars and then uh, yeah, chisel, chisel them, them back, back into, into, <laughs> into regular iron bars and melt them down. <laughs> so, <laughs> so tight. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, that is that is something we can do, yeah. Um, there might also be another use for it. Like maybe there's other, you know, uh, yeah, chiselable yeah, yeah, things yeah. that we can uh, that we can acquire. Uh, so I am getting close to this stack of diamonds, though, Nick, which is very nice. If only the you know overworld was like this in regular Minecraft. I know, literally. There we go, mine diamonds, beautiful. And then uh, we can now make the uh, need to make eight diamond spikes. But oh yeah, that looks easy enough actually. And this quest does give us another uh, another rare reward. We're getting the rare crits. Mm, I really like how over. blue they are. They're so blue. They're very blue. They're so blue. Nick. Oh, he's done Look it. Look at that. He's done it. Oh, oh, after so long. Oh, oh, my goodness. After years of trepidation, we get a basic crate, Nick. I got a chest from the basic crate. <laughs> oh, yeah. The chest does have chain armor in it, though, which, you know, could be, uh, I think it's worse than the armor we currently have, but, you know. It's all right. You know, for the time, Isaac, you got you to gotta put all in relativity. So when the 94% through the first quest line, Nick, it also actually just hit me. Somebody in the comment section, Nick, did tell us that we will get a reward. So in the old trophy room, right? Mm -hmm. The monument room, that is. If you come down to the monument, Nick, there is like a section here for like stages. And apparently we can get rewards if we just like, oh, if we do these. Oh, wow. Look yeah, at that. Look at this. We've got, you see the fireworks? Oh, sweet. We've got four uncommon rewards. I think we can do a few of these, right? Like iron, silver, all clays. I've got diamonds. Yeah. I got a reinforced conversion kit from one of those, Isaac. Oh. That's like well good. Yeah. So we can, we can do like half of these, right? Because we've just not been, not been doing it. Iron, boom. Silver, boom. Diamond, boom. Oh, oh, chest. So we've got eight uncommon rewards, 12 uncommon rewards, and then eight rare blue, dark blue chests, oh, Nick. Oh, yeah. Eight. Oh, them. Jeez. That's good. That's good. It's very nice. That's very nice. I'll, uh, I'll wait for these to smelt, and then I'll come with the um, the rest. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm here as well. I have, uh, here's one all clears for you. There you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Lovely. And then we can do a little, uh, little opening session. Mm, oh yeah, I've got 20 uncommon crates. Oh Do you get them as well or? Goodness. Like, no, I think it appears in that chest, right? It and does, so, yeah. I just, I didn't, obviously, there was no way that would work, but I was hopeful for a second, Nick, that, you know, maybe, maybe hope, possibly. Yeah, it's unfortunately not. <laughs> it's okay. I'll, I'll split them with you, Nick. Don't, don't worry. All right, here we go. Let's uh, let's go put these. Oh, no, I need, to, I need to turn them into blocks first. Here we go. Let me make those. Oh, yeah, look at that. Very, uh, very textured. Oh, look at that. I've got the iron spikes as well. Boom. Ultimate oh, nice. Quest complete. Okay. That's another rare reward. Go Here love we go. It. Where is... Oh, I need to go to you've got to go, you go like first. alchemy lab yeah, and then, then down. Monument. All right. So we'll do uh, all, all clays first. Wait, there it is. Yeah, small rare rewards. And uh, finally, to top it off... Is it going to be like 16? Four epics. Oh. Here you go. Nick. I'll put some. Uh, I'll put some more rares in there for you. And also, you know what? Here you go. Here's some. There's some commons in there as well. Lovely. Right. Let me. I need to go and freaking. I'm going to dump all dump of my inventory. The inventory. Out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So we know. We know exactly what we've received. Right. Do we start with the worst or start with the best? I think we start with the worst. Yeah, I agree. Right. Uncommon rewards. Because it's just absolute trash. I want to get an ability totem. That could be useful. What did I get? Oh, I got I got jump boost. Here we go. I've got um I've got some potions and ten golden apples, but no no totems. All right, that's just kind of like whatever. Yeah, what well, kind of to be expected, right? I think our system is full. Uh, people d did also Nick tell us that um we should stop being the giant, massive, humongous turkeys that we are, and we should move uh, some of our parts into the Tinker's part chest because they all take up one slot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm looking at it now. Yeah. There's a lot of tinkers. Uh, <laughs> because we just dump uh, rewards, right? Straight into yeah, the... Yeah, so uh, this this part chest here, I think can hold like infinite of them. So if you just go and like fill your inventory with this, the little individual tinkers parts. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, we can oh, we can yeah. get a free so, up some space geez. and just there we go. Look at that. Yeah, just fill that all. Yeah, just fill, fill that right all up. In. There yeah. we go. That's we that's go. better. Does make it. It probably makes it. Yeah, there's quite. There's a few more. Oh yeah. Maybe a little further up. It might make it a little harder. It doesn't have a, it doesn't have a search bar, so it makes it a little harder to see what you have. Yes. I guess we could put like a. You could maybe put like a storage bus on here. You know, to kind of like see it in the AE system still. I don't know if that works or not, but you know, maybe. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe actually. Oh god, there's so much. Jeez. There's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? Gosh, yeah, it just keeps on going, isn't it? Oh, oh this uh, Ignatius stuff, which I'm interested in. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's good. Let me let me take a look here. If I can, I put that on my sword and get better stats. I can get worse stats. <laughs> <laughs> Tinkers for you. <laughs> All right, I'm uh, I'm gonna go ahead and double up my uh, my rare rewards. Cool, right? Go for it. I'll um. Oh, ten obsidian breakers, perfect. Sixteen ender pearls, an ender chest, and a bang. A bang. Yeah, this guy right here. Oh my! Ow! <laughs> bang. I mean, it didn't do any damage, <laughs> but. <laughs> I hope you like the uh, gold. But it banged though. <laughs> it did. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. I've got a. Okay, I've got. I got some interesting things from my my uh, rare rewards. I've got another. What could it be? Obviously, disc, which is that weird world, isn't it? Yes, of course. Uh, um, sixteen ender pearls, an ender chest. Uh, I've got signalum conversion kit, which is very nice. Nice. Um, and then a lucky pickaxe. Which is Ooh. Fortune 3 on it. I was hoping it would have Feather Touch, but... You mean Silk Touch, right? Silk Touch, yes, of course, yeah. <laughs> but, oh, we've um, been playing the game for a decade. Exactly. <laughs> oh, but you could, we could use this for, like, mining, right? If we're mining it's for got, redstone. It's got what, sorry? For... What's, what's it have on it? Fortune 3? Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So we'll get a better yield. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to go with the Epics. Here we go. Should have, if we'd have had that like prior to opening, like prior to me mining all those diamonds, I would have, you know, not had to mine quite so yeah, many diamonds. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. Oh well. Yeah, that's fine. There's still more diamonds down there if we need them. Ooh, okay. I got I got 64 fluic seeds, which is like whatever. But I got a dragon head. Ooh, nice. nice. I got uh, I got this guy right here, Nick. This uh, this diamond shield, which goes oh, perfectly yeah, with my, uh, my big oh, old yeah, sword. Oh yeah, look at that. Kitted out. Here, there's a freaking. Th thumbnail oh nick i got a dark helmet with protection with pocket anvil empowered four inventory three night vision padding solar three and sound locator those oh are all the buffs that oh, look geez, at the top of my head like, <laughs> geez you look um do you look like you've got a futuristic crafting table strapped to your head <laughs> <laughs> isaac this um, is how i describe it that's uh, that's what i'm looking for man jeez yeah, all right that I do have Fair a crafting enough. table strapped on my head. <laughs> <laughs> like a glass, like a nice glass one. But anyway, Nick, I have these spikes, the diamond spikes. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do we, uh, we need to switch. Oh, yes, we need to switch disc. worlds. Switch yes. worlds. Get rid of uh, Mount Perish. Get out of here. What's the name of the new disc? We've got too many discs now, Nick. I forget the names. Oh, uh, for... Uh, dark steel grow <laughs> black stone black black stone glow <laughs> black <laughs> <laughs> it's processing zone 317 nick is what it is oh yeah yeah it is yeah <laughs> black steel glow <laughs> just black stone. different it iterations on the words black stone glow yeah exactly <laughs> as many times as you can okay oh, okay so these guys spawn around these pillars right so we want to either use fans to blow them into one direction and put spikes down or surround these pillars and spikes so that they have nowhere to go apart from i don't know how much damage these to, deal to push him. just kind of pushing him in there yeah it's, they it's, do kill him it's, quite yeah, quickly quite, i mean he's not he's not resisting so he's <laughs> <laughs> that was, that, was so really, like that does work right? yeah that was really easy did you and did you get a uh, a gear i did yeah so the the there are different, like, different tiers of spikes from extra utilities. I think everything above gold gives you mob drops. Nice, okay. And, uh, and mob experience, so... Yeah, the question is, where do we want to push these guys? Like, this guy just spawned in here. Do we want to set up... Maybe, like... Hold on, let me go get some uh, cobblestone, which is actually right here. Yeah, maybe, like, a... Like, a... Uh, an... Instant ring of spikes. We don't have... We have eight spikes. So what I'm thinking is... I mean, obviously, we can make more. But what I was kind of thinking is maybe just something, just kind of funnel them 
in like this, right? And then if we put the spikes along this inside wall that we've just made, right? Like, like that. Right. And, and then, then we kind of try and blow push them, them in. Or push them yeah. towards. I mean, like, I'm going to go make some fans <laughs> real yes. quick. Yeah. While you, uh, while, while you while gradually I, while push. While I use some <laughs> slight coercion to get Alternative them. Alternative methods. Just, just, yeah. Uh, there we go. Slight coercion. <laughs> I'm a fan of the fact that they don't get uh, mad when you do that. Yeah. They don't get angry at you. They just accept their, their fate. They just accept fate. Yeah, exactly. And it does look like they drop a, an iron gear every time, which is nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. They are quite pushable, can, all things yeah. considered, right? You think that should be like a new stat that Minecraft adds? Pushability? Pushability, yeah. What would you say your pushability is? Like, are you very pushable? Um, do you want to come find out? See if you can push me into these... Uh... <laughs> it, sounds like, it sounds like you're about to start a fight with me. Do you want to come find <laughs> out? Come find out. I've <laughs> got, got dying spikes, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh... oh. Oh, this is just this is just hilarious. This is quicker. This is quicker than using bows, man. Yeah, for sure, right? The bows took us forever. Because the, <laughs> each each hit from the diamond spike correlates probably to like either one or two arrow hits, and they you know they hit right. quite quite frequently when you push them in. Now I don't know. I don't know if they're you know quite light enough to be uh, persuaded Blown by, by the fans. fans, right? Yeah, but we'll find out. Yeah. We also have to like hope that they spawn. Yeah. Oh, we, I mean, we can always just kind of just gently, you know, coerce them towards. Yeah. I mean, who could, does it push? It does push us. Oh no, Nick! I made a fatal mistake. Nick. Oh Nick, no! Have you Nick, done it? Nick! 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 I turned it off. I turned it off. I turned. I turned the fan off. <laughs> I was shifting. It just kind of slowly being pushed towards my uh, towards All my right. death. I was going to say, we could kind of like hit them. And as they run, well, first of all, we need to test if they do actually get pushed by the fans, yeah, right? Here we go. That's, right. This. Here, yeah, yeah. That's test Wait. number one. Yeah, that works. Yes. I'm thinking, okay. What we could maybe do is, oh no, oh no, oh, oh, oh. no, oh no, 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 no. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There you go. I know I freed <laughs> this man. There. there we go. Okay, turn him back on. Turn him back on. Okay, so that does work for killing that guy. Like, he's dead. Ouchies is what it says there. Right. Shall I just like hit hit one of them? Well, that's the thing. If you hit them, they're gonna chase you. So you could kind of try and. I was hoping we could run across. Yeah, I've hit him works. from opposite. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. He's too fast. <laughs> he was so fast that he just skipped the fans. Right. Less than ideal. Gosh, do you hear the sound? Like them walking around. No, I hear like a a like a wind. I don't know. I don't hear. No, I don't hear that. Is it the oh, fans? I turned, my, I, I turned my sound off and back on, and it disappeared. But it's still about. Oh, okay. I hear like a weird, like a like a, a rumbling, like a a wind rumble. I don't <laughs> hear that. No, I don't hear that. Yeah, at all. I don't. I don't know. Oh. Um. Well, I mean, I don't know. If, well, do you think this this methodology here is good for fifty three gears? <laughs> Is the I mean, real question. I've got um, three. I also have three. So there's four. So we've got, you know, seven. Right. Plus 11. So we're 18 out of, you know, I feel like it would be easier if we could get them to get these fans like in the spawn zone and get them to spawn in. Oh, well, they do kind two. of spawn around yeah. here, don't they? It's, it's, it's hard to, to, to quantify their actual spawning. But their, their, their spawn zone seems quite large, right? Yeah, exactly. So, like, some of them are bound to spawn in the in the zone, but then I'm, you know, I'm getting a good, I'm getting yeah, a good this, yield this, here. This is working. This is working all right. <laughs> it's not the most yield. kind of elaborate solution, but you know, I sometimes just spawn in. Yeah, I think what, I think as we get rid of more of them, they're going to start spawning, spawning in, more right? and more. Yeah. yeah, and they seem to be walking into the zone, which is handy. Yeah. I'm picking up all this stuff. They also drop levers as well, which is really weird, but I'll take it. Yeah, they do seem to be kind of spawning in the middle here, which is nice. Yeah. I think we've got to get the rest of them, you know. Just coerce them, right? If we both get above this, right? Like if we both, let's ascend the cobblestone tower. Mm-hmm. Gosh, this sound, I'm turning my sounds off. Just this, this rumbling. If we both ascend up here, 
right? Mm-hmm. And then shoot them. I wonder if they jump voluntarily onto the spikes just to uh, to try and get closer to us. See that? Yeah, but will they walk right over them? Well, if you stand right on here, if you like stand right above uh, the spike. Oh, yeah. Okay. Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, if they walk yeah, right yeah, underneath yeah. you. Right, let's try this out. Yes, <laughs> that. There we go. So you just want to go and shoot everybody. Yeah. It's mixing the best of both worlds. I'm out of arrows. I only oh. had one. <laughs> All right, well, let's go, get, let's some go get some more. Yeah, let's yeah, go yeah. get some more arrows. I'll go pick up that uh, gear. I think that is the best of both worlds. Now. I think we can that is definitely the best pull tactic, them all yeah. in nice and quick. All right, all right, all right. Don't forget you can... Oh, caution, there are uh, creepers just Oh, I out... see the silhouettes of mobs about, yeah. Just uh, beyond the effable glass. Oh, yeah, uh, God. They're also dropping iron as well, which is nice. I got over a stack of iron there. Yeah, that is very useful. So if you just craft uh, bones with your broken tinker's arrows... Uh, right. Your burn arrows that are in the system, maybe? Oh, yeah, I can put them... I can do this in the in the thing, can't I? Yes, in here. Yeah, there's already burns in here. So if you just stick yours in the middle, you can repair those and then... Uh, and that's 30, 32? Uh, yeah, 30... Something like that. Yeah. I'll get some more. I love how you level up the arrows as well. Yeah, they become better, don't they? So... Yeah. Well, they get more slots, I think, is what they do. They get more, like... um. So you can upgrade them. Like, obviously, you can put, like, looting on them. You can put, like, quartz on them to make them do more damage and, you know, all that kind of... Uh, Lovely. Stoof. Here we go. Okay, I'll stand just, like, right next to you, like, right here. Okay, lovely. Yeah. Yeah, if we just stand, like, there here and go. just shoot. Yeah, and they're all gonna just die. <laughs> Hopefully. This is, this is, this is good. That guy over there's not even chasing me. Come on, mate. There we go. Thank you. The fans are proving a little tricky because, like, this guy's stuck on the fans. Look at all of these ouchies. <laughs> Look at the, he's just stuck over there. The, the ones that are further away... They're not they're not getting as agitated, are they? Because we're far no. away from them. Just might have to do that the traditional way. Just shooting them with the, the bow. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a little awkward, isn't it? Let me... Uh, I don't know if anyone's... Like, this guy here. This guy's prime. Prime for the for the killing. There we go. We've got 11 plus 16, so we've got 27 plus 29, which is... Oh, I think we've got enough. Nice. Okay, I'm on my way back. Yeah, so we've got uh, 56 and then whatever you have on top of that, so... I've got 16, yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so the question now is, has our... Have our simple alloy smelters over here yes. you know, been... Yes, has, it, has it been chugging away? It looks like it is. We're all out of pulverized coal and all out of obsidian, Nick, so I think... I think we're onto something here, so... Let's go ahead and, like, craft these nuggets up. Do you want to dump all of your uh, Infinity Biometal Gears in the system if you haven't already? Beautiful. So we'll do that. Take those out. I've got 31, but then we've got more nuggets to go. Kapow. And, ooh, I've got 61 Dark Biometal Gears. Ooh, okay. And we are out of Dark Steel. So we need more Obsidian and more... Uh, of the other of pulverized coal. Finally, we have what it takes to make the remainder of these gears here. So we put the gears yes. in the middle, surround it with the nuggets. Kapow, kablammy, Nick. Look at that. Oh, quest there it is. Complete. There it okay, is. Okay, so now the final quest here. Unlock the last level. Restore the ancient machine. Oh, open oh the hatch. Goodness. Oh, look at that. So it says, second fragment of knowledge. Let their powers combine. I found it. Now, all I need to do is touch them together. So we have to find... We already have one of those knowledge fragments, right? Submit. Handed that one in. I'll tick the box. And then we just need to find this last knowledge fragment. So I believe, Nick, that if we... I think we have to head back into pro, uh, Processing Zone 317. So let's right. unload this and then reload Processing Zone 317. And I think we've unlocked like a new area in here. Oh, inside. Okay. Yeah, let me eat these big potatoes real quick. You were mm -hmm, not the same. You all 
you're burned up and uh, on, on your arrows and sawed up. Um, let me let me repair my arrows. Yes, I'm gonna do the same thing. Here we go. I'll put some bones in for you. Lovely, thank you. There we go. There's one. Oh, oh. yeah. There I don't you know if that go. was mine or not. There, oh, yeah. There we go. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm all. I'm all good. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I don't know if we're gonna. I was gonna say I don't know if we're gonna have to fight anything, Nick, but we know how this game goes. Yeah. At this point exactly. in time, right? Like, we've we've been here before. Probably. <laughs> Very likely. <laughs> Okay, so here's the scene of all the uh, iron golems that we've killed. Yeah, still, still more are dying. There are. We should yeah. put like a little like vacuum chest here just to kind of pass <laughs> just to pick get everything iron. up. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, I believe that we might have unlocked like a lower. The, the quest book says we've unlocked a lower level. Let's find out. Safe zone. Security cannot be guaranteed after this zone. Oh my god! Oh okay. Gosh. Oh jeez. All oh. right. Uh, oh. Do you want to take left? I'll take right. Let's do it. Oh, oh I'll hello. Sound back on now. Oh, look at this. What's in this? Is this XP? It looks like XP. I see a skeleton over here, so I'm gonna go and just finish him off. But he seems like a a regular spawn skeleton, right? He doesn't seem like a yeah. A strong... There's a door. I don't see any size here. Oh gosh, are they spawning inside the the omnivores? Um, I don't think so. Is there like a single like? Is it? Are they hollow? Uh, it's possible, but I, I I doubt it. It looks like they're running out of that center area. Yeah. Oh, I think I do see a spawner. Oh gosh, they've got dispensers for heads. Oh, oh yeah. Oh wow. They're all I've got, I got ganged up on. Did you kill the spawner? No, I didn't. I couldn't see it. It looked like there was one, but I couldn't see it. Do you reckon it's bring the bed, Nick? If you were. Um. Yes, the bed is actually very close, but I'll bring it closer. Um. Because I spawned in the Gosh, bed. Gosh, the sound! There's like a deep, ominous rumbling. That's so weird. Yeah, I can't hear that at I'm all. I'm going to die. Oh, no. Right. I'm you brought the bed. bed you moved the bed, though, right? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's okay. monsters nearby, right? I'm going to have to kind of put this near the beginning. <laughs> that was where you have to move no. it back further away than it was before. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, this is the monsters nearby. I think I am just going to have to put it back where it was before. Yeah, okay. Top of the stairs. That's uh, quite the zone. Hmm. I, I think you might be right about the hidden spawners, maybe. I don't know where they're hidden, but... Yeah. They seem to be coming out of that middle area, right? Like, when you walk in there, that's when all of the... Exactly. And I can see... Around the other area, there were mobs spawning in, I think, just through darkness. But then right. in the middle area, we're getting those skeletons that are fast and have the dispenser heads. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. So I went down a little door and I found like rare rewards and like a loads of rewards Ooh. chests. I'll leave that for now. Okay, I'll grab the very rare ones. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I can see, I saw like a little flame. Like a flame. Yeah. You yeah. can see the flame. Oh, God. They, have, they do bite, don't they? Jeez. They do hit... The thing is, they're so fast. Yeah, you can't. You don't really have time to gather your thoughts. Exactly. Oh gosh, how do we do this? Well, because the, the spawner is, or what I assume is a spawner, is uh, surrounded by reinforced obsidian. Right. Which is is not a fast break. Do you know what I mean? Like the block's not going to break. Yeah, quickly. exactly. You won't have time. Um, I don't think that torches help. I'll, I'll get some, but I don't know if they help with like the slowing of the spawning. Right, okay. Like we tried it before, didn't we? We tried putting torches down around the very first spawners in that uh, spider cave, and they just kept on spawning. Oh, yeah. So luckily these guys don't have very much health. Yes. They, they die quick. But I'm wondering what the point of the room is, right? Like, what are we here to... Where is we the... Need to get the... We need to get the, the Where is fragment. the fragment? My guess would be in a chest, like, directly beneath the spawner. Right. Okay, well, I've lit the area up somewhat. Okay, I've tried to get rid of some of those guys. Yeah, so if you just start mining it, I'll try and keep them off you. I think you can mine it. Uh, will void breaker work? Oh, it should. Sorry, I, I couldn't. He ran at you. I think it. I, it did look like it was breaking. Yeah, yeah, it is breaking. All right, here we go. Okay, again, I can't promise it's gonna work. 
almost with the first one. There it is. There it is. There we go. Oh, and there is. is the chest with the oh, solarium basic shards. reward crits. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh, yeah, go on. Do you want to take one as well? Or two? Just as a backup? I will take a couple, yes. Let me... What, what do I not need? I don't need these Futura blocks. Let's take a few of those. Lovely. Beautiful. There's also there's also just emerald blocks out here, Nick. Yeah, which is useful actually because I'm pretty sure that I came across something that either requires emeralds or emeralds we were, used to make it. Yeah. Well, before we were looking at getting the silky crystal so we could get the oil oh, right, right, in the uh, in the previous world. Yeah. Yeah, you you got it. Sweet. Do you reckon, so did you find your chest down that door? There's one on the other side as well. Yeah, yeah. If you go if you go up to them actually, I didn't take all of them out, just some of them. I'm going to mine this block oh, yes, of gold. I see. box of gold too. Yeah, there's even more emeralds and gold around, which is nice. Yeah, very nice. And uh, I don't know what we're going to use the experience on, <laughs> but there is a lot of experience, you know, just kind of hanging around. Oh, yeah, I see you've left some uh, crits. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, tier 3 tier crits, always always nice. So, oh, look, we're in uh, in Chapter 7 now. Like, yeah, let's get, let's, let's, <laughs> before we let's start go. reading, let's, let's yeah, get out let's of the, <laughs> the area with the dispense skeletons. Let's head to the safe zone, which is right here. So... Now, Nick, in Chapter 7, Know Thyself, The Plane of Reflection, Ooh. Craft Dimensional Drive. The blinding light from combining knowledge fragments did something to me. I now know what I must do. Impossible concepts fill my mind, and most of it is vibrant flashes of nonsense, but the plans for several dimension drives float close enough to the surface that I can understand their form amid the swirling chaos. In time, I'm sure this will all make sense. So now we have to hand in a pile of, neut uh, of neutrons, water bottle, silver plate, Emmy housing, yellow, red, and blue stained glass, and the original Mobius fuel from the first mm. quest to get Plane of Spectrum. Ooh, which, again, that doesn't look too bad in terms of the hand ins there. Like, all of that no, looks no, not pretty at all. doable. We are going to have to make a compactor to turn a silver ring into a silver plate, but that's just a basic thermal foundation machine. And, uh, and yeah, at that point, Nick, we're, we're off to a new zone. Once we more. are. Mm. We're moving out of uh, processing zone three one seven. Nick, it's been a a whale of a time, but we're off to we're off to a new home. Oh yeah, gosh, this kill me. Downs. Oh yeah, this is we've we've overshot. Here we go. Oh yeah, of course. Back down. Uh, but Nick, I think that is a good place for us to wrap up there mm -hmm. for today. Uh, next time we'll come back, we will assemble all of the items required uh, to know thyself, Nick, and to get the plane of spectrum quest completed and unlock the new zone. And then uh, begin working through that. Nick, I do notice in this quest line, there is now a uh, constructor farming station, as well as uh, the ability totem for luck, and uh, a quest called the Power of Coin, in which we can hand in 50 copper, 50 silver, and 50 platinum coins to get the pneumosomatic press, Nick, which um, will allow us to make coins. Oh, so the pneumosomatic press goes in the compactor, and then we can make coins. So at that point, we yes, can just use can the copper and silver we have, yeah, yeah, to just buy stuff from earlier on. Nice, 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 nice. And that uh, that farming station there is going to help a whole heck of a lot, Nick, in terms of getting all of the uh, you know beets and whatnot, yeah, and potatoes exactly. and wheat Ugh. automated. But uh, for now, guys, as always, if you did enjoy the video and you want to see more Material Energy Five in the future, go ahead and hit that like button. It really does help out a lot. Leave a comment down below, subscribe if you're new here to get notified as soon as new videos go out. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.